Yo, what is good? It is the Scholar Dial, yo, and I am back with this UFC Fight Night Pittsburgh Rockhold versus Branch analysis and predictions. Now, this is a very good card, you know, for Fight Night. It's a lot of name value to this card. I think the last couple Fight Nights were relatively weak when it came to name value, but I think this card has some bangers on it. Um, I'm going to do the last five fights on the main card. The first fight. My fellow Nigel boy, Kamaru Uzman, going against Sergio Marias. Now, this is an interesting fight because you have a wrestler against a really good jiu-jitsu player. So, that's always interesting to see how that plays out. Even though I think this fight is mostly going to take place on the feet, you have Kamaru, who is a very high-pressure fighter. He always constantly moving forward. Very good wrestler. Likes to apply the pressure. And his stand-up is everly ever improving you know he's training with Henry Hoof so you know he's working on his kickboxing and you have Sergio Marias who is quite unorthodox in his movement he throws very wide but he has a lot of power you know that people overlook and he's very dangerous if the fight hits the ground I think Kamaru Usman is the better striker but he needs to be alert because Sergio Marias does have power I think Kamaru he needs to not force takedowns because if he does that he can get caught in the submission his one loss on his record is by submission so he needs to be very careful there and I think I think Sergio he needs to establish respect early you know he needs to show Kamaru that he just can't walk forward and just put that pressure on him he needs to show that uh, Kamaru needs to be mindful of that power he has as for my prediction I gotta go with uh, Kamaru Uzman I just think he's a better striker and I think he can wrestle he can use his wrestling I think it, he should use his wrestling later probably later second or third round or just to um, just to ensure he wins the rounds I think he should win this fight handily all right the next fight I'm gonna talk about is Hector Lombard versus Anthony Smith you have Hector Lombard everybody knows Hector Lombard is extremely dangerous in that first round very powerful you know, very powerful individual. Even though he's he's on the decline, he's getting older. He's slowing down. His power is still there, but not as pronounced as it was early in his career. And you have Anthony Smith. He's also a veteran, very tough, very tough competitor. They're coming off a crazy comeback against Andrew Sanchez. He showed incredible heart in that fight, and I think he's gonna have to show heart in this fight as well. Cause first round Hector is very dangerous for Anthony Smith to win this fight I think he needs to fight long like he has crazy height and reach advantage in this fight so he needs to fight long but he needs to make Hector work because you want to make Hector work the first round so the second and third round uh, he's gas and Hector he wants to fight smartly he doesn't want to overexert himself going for the finish in the first round he wants to make sure he is careful with the his spurts that he likes to um explode in of course Hector is gonna have to close the distance and I think he should he should use his grappling in this fight he's very strong in the clinch very good with uh with his judo background has good throws and trips I think he should want top position you know earlier in the first two rounds just so he doesn't overexert himself so as for my prediction I think Anthony Smith is going to take this fight in the deep waters. I, I see him probably getting to stop his third round. I'm going to call a third round TKO. I think Hector slows down in fights. And I think Anthony, he's he stays strong late in fights. And he does well with adversity. So I, I see Anthony Smith getting the TKO in the third round. All right, the next fight I'm going to do is the co-main event. You have Mike Perry versus Tiago Alves. Of course, this is going to be a... This is going to be a stand-up banger. You know, you have Mike Perry who has a 100% knockout rate. 10 wins, 10 knockouts. And you have Tiago Alves is a great Muay Thai pr practitioner. who has He has a 50% knockout rate. So this fight is going to take place on the feet. You have Mike Perry. He's a very powerful striker. Um, But he got exposed a little bit in the Alan Juban fight. You know, he got exposed for a lack of footwork and movement. But I don't think Tiago Alves employs that same type of movement. Tiago Alves, he's a, he comes from a Muay Thai background, so he's more likely to stay in front of Mike Perry, which is a danger zone. As for Tiago, 
I think he needs to use his full repertoire. I think he needs to focus on the kicks, focus on using his leg kicks, his body kicks. I think he needs to maintain a little bit of distance, you know, and follow it up with his hands. And of course, Mike Perry, he's just going to do what he does, walk forward and try to knock you out. As for my prediction, I've been going back and forth with this fight. I think Tiago Alves is overall a better striker than Mike Perry, but Mike Perry just has that dynamite if you stand in front of him. So it's tough, but I'm going to go with Mike Perry on this fight. I th I'm going to say Mike Perry by knockout. I just think with Tiago, he is a Muay Thai practitioner and he's not going to have a lot of movement. I think standing in front of Mike Perry is not a good idea. I think he's the up and comer. Tiago Alves, he's a veteran. So I'm going to go with Mike Perry. I'm going to go with Mike Perry by knockout. Don't know which round, but I'm going with Mike Perry by knockout. On to the main event. We have Luke Rockhold versus David Branch. When this fight was announced, people were like surprised at this matchup. You know, they expected Luke Rockhold to fight somebody like uh, Jacare or Wyman. But I think a lot of people are underrating David Branch in this fight. I feel like this is a this is a way closer fight than people think. A lot of people are not aware of David Branch. He just recently came back to the UFC. He just recently beat um, Christoph Jaco. Very tough, Christoph Jocko. I thought I think Jocko only had one loss before that fight. And you have Luke Rockhold, former middleweight champion, coming off the loss to uh, Michael Bisbing, and he's finally coming back. Now this fight, I think this fight is it's a competitive fight. You have two really good grapplers, two very good grapplers. Um, David Branch, he's a, a I think Hanzo Gracie black belt. And you have Luke Rockhold, you know, we know what he can do on the ground as well. As for striking, I think this is a close fight, you know. This is a good matchup, you know. Two really good strikers. I think Luke Rockhold has the kicking advantage. And I think Dave Branch has better boxing, like he said. I think Dave Branch has better boxing than Luke Rockhold. I think Luke Rockhold, I see him taking the standard of the cage. And I see David Branch moving a lot using a lot of movement he has really good footwork and i see him trying to counter uh luke rockhold coming off those kicks if this fight goes to the ground i think it'll be initiated by david branch he likes to mix it up you know he's pretty well-rounded i see him initiating the takedown if it goes to the ground which the fight will really get interesting that'll be the most interesting aspect of this fight to see who's the better grappler and who who wins the battles on the ground. You know, as for my prediction, I feel like a lot of people are thinking Lou Rockhold is just going to run through David Branch, and I highly doubt that's going to happen. I can easily see this fight going all five rounds and being closely contested. This is a close fight to me. I think this fight can go either way. I feel like uh, David Branch, he needs to establish respect. He needs to mix it up. And Lou Rockhold, he needs to just, you know, stay alert. You know, and not take David Branch lightly. For my prediction, um, it's close. But for some reason, I want to say David Branch with the upset. I I think I think Lou Rockhold has showed that he doesn't have the best chin. And if, if given the opportunity, David Branch is going to test that chin. And I think David Branch is going to catch him. I think David Branch is going to catch him with something. So, I'm going to go with David Branch. I'm going to go with David Branch by, by knockout. I don't know which round, but I don't know. I'm going to say David Branch by knockout. So, yeah, y'all can go ahead, like, subscribe if y'all want to, comment, tell me what you think. Peace. Salute.